so I got a very big box in the mail the other day and I ordered a pair of shoes and I really wanted to show them to you guys now. Here they are. Ah. Okay, they go this way. Look, I got a new pair of Doc Martens and here they are. I think it was around this time where I actually was showing you guys a different pair of Doc Martens that I have and I actually have one of them right here next to me. Right ahead and open them for right now. And it's funny because it says the 1st of April in 1960, so their anniversary is coming up here in April very soon, guys. So, once we open the fluff right there, and here they are. So, I got boots this time. I'm going to go ahead and just pull these out right here. So this is what my shoes last time um, when I showed them to you guys. And here are these ones. These are the 1460 Black Pebble. So you would be able to go online and look for those ones. I got these on sale. They are a boot and they don't have a zipper. Some of their new boots have zippers on them which drive me absolutely bonkers. But here these ones are, and as you can tell, they're not smooth like some of their original boots are, and even not how not smooth like how the Mary Janes are. The texture on them are very different than some of their original boots. They're just black. These ones, if you've noticed, um, don't have the yellow on them right here, like how these ones are. I know these ones are a bit dirty now. But here's the yellow right there, and these ones are completely black, even right here. So I did wear them already today because um, I'm trying to break them in. I did buy them for work again. I bought my Mary Janes for work last time, which they held, held up amazingly. So I'm buying these for work again, and I need to break them in because they are definitely stiff. Um, just everywhere in general. I'm going to have to like, you know, do some major bending with these ones. But if you notice, even the tag on this, it has the air wear, is that what it says? But it's even, it's all in black where before it would be in a yellow color, you'd be able to read it more. Um, so it's interesting that this black, this boot is all black, but I liked it. I liked having it all black, but on the Mary Janes, it won't come with the tag on them. So, one thing that was kind of bothering me about this boot is, um, they look kind of gray, honestly. Like, they have black spots on them, but the pebbling actually is gray. Like, I don't know if you will be able to tell from this lighting, but you can definitely tell in person. So it's a very dark charcoal gray with black spotting on them for the pebbling on it. And then the rest of the boot is black as you can tell. They're very simple. Here's the tongue, these are the laces. I think these boots would be perfect for changing out the laces to a different color if you would want to add something else to them. Um, I think the original boots would be really cute with the yellow being here. You could have yellow laces, but with these ones, since they're all black, you could definitely switch out the laces for any color. I think it would be really cute with them. And they were on sale. I want to say I got them for a little more than $100 after tax. I think normally they were more than a hundred to begin with, but I got them on sale for $95. Then with tax, it came out a little after a hundred. I can't remember how much I paid for them now, but it was a little more than a hundred with tax, but it's free shipping once you order them online. But really I was wearing them and I was, I was wearing them out today and I already got compliments on them and they are very cute. When I first saw them, it was really bothering me that they look more gray, 
but um, I'm not complaining after I was wearing them. I, I very much do still like them, and yeah, I just, I just got them for work. I guess I could leave a link to my old video, but, ah, uh, gosh, how long has it been? It's been well over a year. So oh, these, these shoes are very much still in good condition. I actually just recently tried to clean them off so that they look decent. Um, I work in a coffee shop, so lots of coffee falling on them all over the place, like the espresso and everything, but they they're still very much in good condition the only problem is i can absolutely tell that the insides are wearing down for me i have very sensitive feet and i have to have really good support for my work shoes so unfortunately i had to buy new work shoes so but they're still in really great condition as you can tell i think they would still be really nice to wear with outfits i think for me because um, just because I, I don't need a bunch of shoes, <laughs> um, I am really, I like donating a bunch of my stuff, so I think to make some room for these ones since they're coming in, I think, I think they're in decent enough condition that someone would be happy to find them, um, I think I'm going to donate them, probably clean them up a little bit more, and donate them, because they're really they don't really look that bad honestly still and even the bottom of them isn't worn down too much i think if someone wanted to wear these just for outfits they could get away with them not wearing down that much either like i said they're over a year old and they still look pretty pretty nice to me so <laughs> um that's just to show you like the quality of the shoe um i've mentioned in my other video that doc martens um, is, is meant for a work boot. So that's why, um, I got them for work and I really like them. They're non-slip. Let's see. Yeah, they're non-slip. So I definitely need them for working in like a restaurant environment. Don't want to fall, fall on those slippery floors. And I, they're really good, sturdy quality because I need something to support my feet really well. So thank you guys for watching my unboxing video of my Doc Martens. I'm excited to have them. And yeah, stay tuned for my next video. Thanks. Bye.